yesterday, Tommy got away from me, so I didn't come on yesterday. But I'm here today. And I'm so glad to be here today. Um, for those of you who don't live in Toronto, um, every year we have this big kind of fair with food and clothes and, and we have an air, air show and it goes on for two weeks and it's called uh, the Canadian National Exhibition uh, or CME for short. Um, and because of COVID-19, it's closed this year, sadly. But before I knew it was closed this morning, it was funny because I don't know what, what God's doing in my dreams lately, but um, I had this dream where it was a virtual experience of the exhibition. Like um, every spot of the, of what is usually the CNE had a different part of the website. People would pay to go into the website. I, th I think um, some money and then they would be able to tour the web the website. So there were part a part with singers and they did their videos from home and then and then people would watch and, and the people selling stuff they would, um, there would be videos of what they were selling and then, um, and then if people were interested, they could, they could buy whatever product and, and the website had a schedule of when different things were going on just like the usual exhibition um, and the rides were amazing. They were like virtual rides where people could um, uh, take the rides virtually and if you had a Wii or, or whatever the video game system was, you can just hook it up and take the rides and I thought Lord why are you showing me this he's like things are changing but they don't have to be over and the exhibition may not be really happening this year and that may have only been a dream but he said to me things are changing but they don't have to be over um COVID-19 has really, has really changed the world, but he says things in the world do not have to be over. Just because things are changing and just because things look different doesn't mean that um, with a little bit of ingenuity and creativity it has to be over. So just because that business plan um, looks different or is on hold doesn't mean it's over. Just because, just because it's not the way we're used to doing it doesn't mean we can't do it in a different way. So for to use my dream example, just because the CNE is physically closed doesn't mean it has to be virtually closed or, you know, just because churches are not physically open doesn't mean we can't virtually open and most churches are virtually open. I have to say for the Christian community, well done. All the generals that I know 
they're still preaching smaller churches, bigger churches. They're not closing, closing down. They're meeting in empty, empty buildings with limited staff, but they're still preaching the word of God. And the Lord says, um, bravo to the church. And he's really proud of his generals for still preaching and still bringing content to the people. And those people who weren't online before, he says, bravo for the ch churches for getting online, for the pastors and for leadership teams. It's j it just takes a change of mindset. It just takes us um, as people getting out of the way we've always done things to doing things a new way a way that people get the same content um but it's not done the same way uh, where we used to gather physically in churches and physically um for different events um we have to re retool that now so we can do it virtually and utilize the resources we have and stop wishing for what we don't have. Work with what you have. Work with what you have. If you have just a computer, work with that. If you have just a laptop, work with that. If you have your phone, work with that. Ask the Lord, how can I retool this business to work with people right now and he will give you ingenuity he will give you ideas and some of the things you may not be able to but you'd be surprised what things you are able to retool retool with a little with with a little thought and with a little ingenuity and with a little creativity and still be safe and still I'll follow the guidelines. It just ta it just takes creativity and thought. Uh, COVID has really forced us, as I said um, before, to be creative. We were so used to going about the mundane, and COVID has really forced us to be creative. So before you put that idea down, before you put that vision down, ask the Lord um, with a few t tweaks and with a few mo motivations, is there any way you can retool your vision to work in these times now? And if you can't, how do you prepare for what's coming next? Uh, in your life in regards to your purpose and in regards to your career in regards to what he has for you so it's either to retool it or to prepare and if you can and if you absolutely cannot re retool it to function now um maybe you can um uh you can prepare for what's next so let's say if you have a little clothing store and and you can't accept customers or whatever now maybe you can show off some of your clothes in your home on racks or maybe by getting your kids to model them and having people buy them online and shipping them just so you keep your economy running. See, you may not be able to physically have customers, but it doesn't mean your little business idea, your little store idea has to stop. It just, mean, it just means 
retooling and ingenuity. It just means instead of having customers, you may have to have a camera that you can show racks of your clothes and then if people and if you and if people check in on live chat they can talk to you through the live chat about the clothes and figure out sizes and colors and all of that um, and then they can pay for it online and you can ship it to them. This is just an idea on the, off the top of my head. See, this COVID-19 causes, causes us to have to rethink and revamp what we know. Um, and sometimes it can work and sometimes it wouldn't be able to. Um, but the Lord saying before you give up on that idea, before you give up on that dream, ask him for a way that you could possibly retool and revamp for this season. Because something that people need this season is hope and they need jobs so if you can provide online jobs why not do that if you could if you can still um display your clothes on racks let's say uh from from nine to five and have people skype in and then purchase your clothes online, why not do that? That's just an idea how to be, how to be creative in these times of uncertainty. Now, I'm the least technical person ever. I don't know logistics for anything, but that's just an idea off the top of my head. Um, I'll see you later. Bye. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you, he is with you in the morning. In the evening, and you're coming, and you're going, and you're weeping, and rejoicing. He is for you. He is for you. Amen. Amen.
God bless you. I'll see you t sometime either later this week or I may may not come on until story time Sunday. But hopefully I'll come on either tomorrow or Thursday or Friday or maybe all three. I'll see how the Lord leads. Take care. Bye.